people are popping in, but um, if you are joining us, we will begin in a couple of minutes. Hi, everybody. We're going to start in a few minutes. Just give an intel at the bottom of the hour to, um, or the bottom of the half, I guess you would say, uh, to have everybody else join. Thanks for joining us today. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get started, and I think uh, people will begin to trickle in, but um, I just wanted to welcome you all, and thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm Melissa Lazaro, and I run the operations for Lexplore here in the U.S., and I'm also the mother of a son with dyslexia, so summer reading uh, was always a challenge in our home, and trying to find uh, activities and motivational inspiration for him was always a challenge, so I hope you learn a lot today. I know I always learn something new when I'm listening to Janet and Kathleen. Um, but just a few words about Lexplore before we get going and what we do. Uh, Lexplore leverages eye tracking and AI to provide an accurate reading assessment in less than five minutes. Uh, we're also the only reading assessment that can provide silent reading fluency data, which is really cool. Um, we are able to screen reading for grades K through high school. And so if you're interested in learning more about Lexplore and about what we do, um, I'd be more than happy to set you up with a demo. And uh, you can also access that on our website by going to lexpro.com uh, backslash en. I'd like to introduce you to today's speakers. Uh, Janet Pedrazzi is our Director of Academic Content. She's also a 20-year veteran in public schools here in the US. Um, she's a real hero for teaching kindergarten this past year virtually, um, as many of our uh, amazing teachers did uh, throughout this, this last year. Um, you also might recognize her because she is our featured star in our Lunch with Lexplore series that's posted um, also on our website under instructional resources. And uh, she's additionally developed curriculum in the US and uh, for nonprofits in Africa. She has a master's degree in teaching and, and, and reading and is a doctoral candidate in, our, uh, in an educational leadership program. Our second main speaker, uh, also known as is Kathleen Law, also known as Educator Kathleen on Instagram, was one of our very first Lexplore users, and we internally refer to her as our ambassador. Uh, she's taught grades first, second, and fourth uh, over the past 14 years in our United States public schools. She's extensively trained in Orton-Gillingham approach to reading, and her lucky students receive really fun multi-sensory reading instruction that's explicit and systematic every single day. And we're going to learn some of those fun techniques um, today during our webinar. She also has a master's degree in teaching. A few housekeeping items before we get going. Um, and then I'll go ahead and turn myself off and turn it over to Kathleen and, and Janet. Uh, today's webinar is recorded. So if you notice that in the upper left hand corner, uh, just, just note that and you will be receiving a follow up email with this link as well as any resources that are provided uh, today. Um, so you'll go ahead and get that in an email follow-up with in the next couple of days. All attendees have also been muted to limit distractions. And if you have any questions during the webinar today, go ahead and put those in the Q&A and um, we'll respond immediately, or we might even save them to the end if it's something we feel like everybody else can benefit from. Uh, to learn more, all of our contact information will be on the final slide. Today. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Janet to get us going on this fantastic webinar uh, this afternoon or this evening, depending on where you are in the world or the United States. Thanks so much, Melissa. And thank you, Kathleen, for being with us tonight and um, for everyone who's joining us 
in our launch um, with our launch to summer reading program with Lexplore. Um, in this in this webinar, we're going to show you how the the Lexplore summer reading routine can help you help your readers stay on track with reading this summer. This is a fun, quick, um, child centered program that is unique because it does include all of the five essential components of reading development. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about those. Um, Kathleen is also going to demonstrate how to engage our readers with some hands-on multi-sensory activities that you will also find in our, in our reading routine um, that will help maintain and develop those foundational skills. Let's get started. So if you, when you download the summer reading routine, these are the components that you will receive. Um, we have the activity sheets. There are two levels. We have the pre-K through one level, and then we have uh, grades two through five. You will receive two sheets for each level, one for the, the month of July and one for the, the month of August. Um, then we have the uh, rocket recording calendars. Um, they're a lot of fun. There's one for July and one for August. In addition to these materials, we also have video tips. The video tips are great. They can be found on our website or on our YouTube page. Um, and they demonstrate some of the activities, but they're also beneficial because they dive into the deeper meaning and the purpose of the activities. They're a great um, support resource for parents. So the only thing you will need to supply for the, the Lexplore summer reading routine is a notebook, a pencil, and a really good book to read. Okay, let's take a quick look at the five components of reading and how they are incorporated into, into our program. So we have phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is an essential foundational reading skill. It's the ability to isolate, manipulate, blend, um, and segment single sounds in words. <clears throat> the Lexplore um, activities are fun, hands-on activities that help engage the students. And Kathleen's actually going to demonstrate how you can use snacks to, um, to participate in these activities and engage the readers in developing these important skills. Then we have phonics. Phonics is when um, the reader is attaching a sound to a letter or a group of letters. Um, and this is, an, this is essential for decoding and reading the words. They are like a system, a, a system of symbols <clears throat> and these symbols make up a code and it's super important that our readers have a strong understanding and, and know this code well to be strong readers. Um, so our activities focus and hone in on some spelling patterns and those tricky those, especially those trickier ones, those L-E, those words that end in L-E, or all the different ways you can spell the long A sound. Um, so there's various activities to help develop those skills. And then we have fluency and comprehension. Fluency is developed through practice. Um, and it's also essential for comprehension. So we have some fun, silly games in our activity sheets. Um, that students can use and they love, uh, they love to use the silly voices and I believe Kathleen's going to demonstrate one of those as well. Um, and this gives them the opportunity to, um, to have that practice and develop that word recognition that they need to develop fluency to help with the comprehension. Then we have vocabulary, which I often say is a forgotten skill um, in, instructionally it is super important for readers to develop a good, strong vocabulary. Um, and that, that foundation in, in vocabulary helps, as you can see with this diagram, in all of these other components. Um, so we have fun uh, graphic organizers that we use, um, different word analysis activities that not only help students understand the words that they're working with, but helps them develop those thinking habits and those learning habits and how to establish word meanings. Um, so our Lexplore summer reading routine incorporates all of these five components that are essential for reading development. So here are the activity sheets. The activity sheets are um, color coded. As you can see, the phonics has all the red spheres and comprehension is light blue. 
the students can choose an activity and cross off the sphere to keep a record of the ones they have done. And then they're going to record by coloring in the corresponding color on the calendar, which I will show you next. Um, what you wanna be sure of is you want the student to, the reader to choose one from one component each day, from a different component each day, so that they cover all five components in a week. And that way it kind of mixes it up and um, we make sure we cover everything. And then we have our rocket recording calendars. So once a child selects the activity and crosses off the sphere on the activity sheet, then they take the time with the activity in mind um, to read 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30, or however long they would like to read. They can complete the activity. Um, and then when they're finished, they color in the circle for that day with the corresponding color. So if the child completes a phonics activity, they're going to color in that circle for the day red. That way you can see across your week that you have covered all five of the components. Um, like I said, there are some videos that, um, there are links in the activity sheets that you can click on, or you can visit our, our YouTube account to view all of the, the, those videos as, long, as well as our Lunch with Lexplorer videos. Um, but these are great because they dive into the meaning and the purpose of the activity. You know, some activities might seem a little surface and it might, be, it might not be very clear in the beginning why this would be an important activity. So sometimes these videos help with that understanding. So we'll take a quick peek at one. Um, this is finding clues within a text. It's a comprehension tip. Good readers ask themselves questions to think more deeply about the text. In this activity, our reader is identifying how a character feels by making inferences. She is using clues she found in the story to help her determine how the character feels. It is important that readers are able to identify the clues or the evidence within the text that help them reach the conclusion. This reader can tell the bear is not feeling well because of the clues she found. Clues or evidence can be how the character acts, what the character says, or the events that happen within the story. Readers can explain their answers using this type of evidence from the text. Good readers can boost comprehension skills by developing these good thinking habits while reading. The Let's Plore Summer Read. So these videos, the links can be found within the activity sheets and on our YouTube page. And like I said, they're a wonderful resource to share with parents and families so that they can support their readers at home. Now Kathleen is going to demonstrate some of the activities found in the, in the reading routine. Thank you, Janet. It's so fun to be here. So I got to choose one activity from each of the five components to demonstrate um, some activities that you can do. Um, we're going to start with the foundational skill that lies under phonological awareness. So it's important for students to be able to hear the individual sounds in words. In this activity, your student will push forward counters for each sound. These counters can be goldfish, Legos, coins, or any other small objects you can find around the house. For this next activity, you are going to have your reader find short words. They are going to write them down and give you the list. Then you are going to say the words out loud and they are going to segment into individual sounds using goldfish. So if the word is then, we don't want them to look at the word, we just want them to hear it, then. They would do three sounds. We, wah, e, we, two sounds, and they can pull it back. Must, mm, four sounds. Now, the next activity is going to focus on phonics, specifically consonant blends. 
In our alphabet, consonants are all of the letters that are not vowels. When two or three consonants are put together, we call these consonant blends. Identifying consonant blends can help a reader decode words quickly. In this activity, the student is going to find and identify words based on their consonant blends and then use bowls from the kitchen to separate. Janet, I can't hear it. In the phonics section, under grades pre-K through first, you're going to need the book that your child's reading and post-it notes. We are going to encourage our reader to find two or three consonant blends together at the beginning of words. So you will need the book and post-it notes. We are going to have our reader look for words that have consonant blends at the beginning. So skunk is one. So either you or they can write it down. Strong. Now, once you have come up with your list, you're going to grab two bowls. And on one bowl, these are going to be two consonant blends. And the other will be three consonant blends. If you write down the word skunk, or they can write it down, then you can crumple it up. They'll see that there are two blends at the beginning. Crumple it up and shoot it into the bowl. Strong. They can see that there are three consonants at the beginning. They can crumple it up and throw it into the bowl of three. All right, the next section is all about fluency. Fluency is an important part of reading because it bridges word recognition to comprehension. When a reader is fluent, they may use different voice intonation, expression, and speed. One way to practice fluency is by reading sentences using different voices. In this activity, the student reads a high, with a high-pitched voice, a low pitch voice and a robot voice. This also makes the reading aloud more fun. Okay, you are going to read the first couple pages using a high pitch voice. Do it in a low voice. Two. Are you okay? I do not know. I oh two. Great. Now you're gonna do it in a robot voice. I cannot stop uh two sneezing. Oh no. What if what if what if pigs make me sneeze? Ah, uh, true. Great, right, Alan. Nice job. Okay, the next section is vocabulary. Vocabulary knowledge is necessary, is a necessary key to comprehension. The more words a reader knows, the better they will understand the text. A great way to expose readers to vocabulary is through books. In this activity, you will see the reader searching for um, new words using sticky notes, and she's using just the little post-it notes. After finding new words, the student can then compile a list and then discuss the meaning with an adult and either draw a picture or write a sentence using the new word. Well, Janet, no worries. All they have to do is take a book 
take little sticky notes and or, or they could even circle the words and then um, place a sticky note where their new word is. Um, if it's a book from the library, you want to use sticky notes. If it's your own book, then they can um, just circle it in, in the book. Great. And then last is comprehension. Comprehension or understanding is the overall goal of reading. One way to practice comprehension is to make connections to other texts or stories. Students can do this by comparing and contrasting two stories they have read. A Venn diagram, as you can see in the, the video, is two overlapping circles and it makes a great visual when comparing two texts. In this activity, we took our practice outside. I'm so sorry, Kathleen. I'm not no sure. problem. And, and Janet, if you just want to pause it, that's perfect too. I can just explain. In the two outside circles, the reader discussed the differences between two chapter books, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the, the Silver Arrow. In the middle circle, she explained how the two stories were different and that got her up and moving and outside. Okay, those were wonderful. Thanks so much, Kathleen. Um, very engaging for our readers. Um, so before we move on to our Q&A, um, I just want to get you started on making sure that you know where to find our um, Lexplore summer reading routine. So you can um, visit our website at lexplore.com under resources, or here is the direct link that you will also receive in your email with the webinar link. Awesome. Thanks so much, Janet and Kathleen. Um, there's one simple question, and that is um, with the bowl exercise, when you're identifying the double consonants or the triple consonants, um, is the purpose of that to, is it like a pre syllabication uh, activity or, or what is what skill is that developing with the student? I think that's just hearing and um, seeing that the, the consonant blends are together. Um, not necessarily syllabication because you have to have a vowel with, um, you would have to have a vowel with those letters, if that makes sense. Um, but it's just getting them to realize that two consonants blend together to make that, that sound. Got it. That makes sense. I hope I answered that. And Janet, please feel free to jump in. I think, yes, I agree that that um, activity is a focus, I believe is a focus on the blends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and second, what is the best way to get a student or a child motivated for learning and reading this summer? Um, how, do we, how do we get them to sit down and, and do these activities? These, what do you think is the best motivation? Um, you know, I think number one always is um, the first step is always modeling, meaning um, when they see the parents enjoying reading, um, mm -hmm. you know, a parent finding um, reading to be a leisure activity, um, that is, is usually the first step in, in helping children understand that reading is, is um, an enjoyable activity to do and it's something you can do for leisure, something you can do for fun. Um, also, these calendars that the students, that the, the readers have, um, they're a lot of fun. You know, when the children, the children are motivated by their progress and when they start filling in their circles, they want to remember, oh, tonight I still have to fill in my circle. Um, so it's, it's fun if, we, if you hang the calendar somewhere or you put it in a place that can be seen um, is really important too because then it's not forgotten about and also can become part of the routine. I think okay. establishing routines over the summer is always very tricky. I have two kids of my own um, and that, that can be tricky and you all, we are all so well intended, right? In the beginning of the summer. Um, but I think, you know, giving it a good effort to establish that routine and perhaps even during that reading time when the child is reading, either the parent reading aloud to, the, to a child is just as beneficial and just as important, it helps establish um, fluency. 
and also that auditory processing. So having a parent read is, is super important. There are also, I can keep going on this. There's also um, the, Lex, the Lex, uh, Lunch with Lexplore videos where we build tents and um, we have special reading places. So having a special place to go um, is also you know, very enticing as well. Um, but I think also just how we, um, how we show that we enjoy reading and how important it is, I think that helps. Kathleen, did you wanna add? I was going to say something very similar. Um, you could even form a book club um, with your child and um, read a chapter book together. Or and like you said, the routine is so important, especially during the summer, because they're missing that, um, not having school. So setting up a time to read before bedtime, um, and then they'll start looking forward to that. And um, you'll create that special bond um, and enjoy good literature together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Well, there's no other questions. So um, we can go ahead, I think, and wrap up. We wanted to share with you the final slide, which is um, all the contact information. So if you want to learn more about Lexplore, if you'd like a demo on how our reading assessment works, um, like I said, it, we can assess students' reading ability in less than five minutes. Um, and it goes from a student profile all the way up through an organization if you're a district um, leader. And Kathleen has also uh, put together a website where she's got some really valuable resources there. Um, she's even got like a pre-reading if your child isn't reading it. Um, some of those pre-reading skills uh, can be assessed um, in a tool that she's put together there. Um, and as always, you can follow all of us on uh, our social media handles. So at Look for Inc. or at Educator Kathleen. Thank you so much for joining us for this rocket fast 30 minute webinar on summer reading. And uh, if you have any other questions, please reach out. We will send you a link um, shortly uh, that will have a recording to this webinar so that if you wanna share it with your colleagues, friends, uh, fellow teachers or fellow educators and leaders, um, we'd be more than happy to, to send that over to you. So have a nice evening. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. We'll have another webinar coming up at the end of summer, uh, getting us back into this classroom. But I know none of us want to think about that right now. We just want to think about summer. So um, we'll see you soon. Thank you.